All right, so this is a slide which basically tells you how to diagnose a spasm. So if you divide the face at the center point of your nose into four quadrants, if you have just one of the eyelid or one area only twitching, like here, then that is uh, the first picture, that is myokemia. Bo upper half of the face when it is involved, uh, it is benign essential blepharospasm. So BEB is essentially a bilateral condition. It's like presbyopia. You don't say right eye or left eye. It is BEB means it is bilateral and it is upper half of the face. When one vertical half of the face is involved, that is called as hemifacial spasm. And finally, when you have a BEB combined with lower facial dystonia, which means practically the entire face, that is called Meek syndrome. So this particular slide should help you diagnose what is, uh, what is the spasm that the patient is suffering from. So here is a lady who has a hemifacial spasm on the left side. So you can see that uh, the brow is being uh, pulled down. Here actually it is also being simultaneously lifted by the uh, frontalis muscle. The orbicularis, all the three components of the orbicularis are under spasm. Not only that, but her angle of mouth is deviating upwards. And this is a classic hemifacial spasm. And you can also notice the platysmal band here on this side. So HFS extends right up to the neck and it's very easy to identify. So if you see someone who's having twitching around the uh, eyelids, just look at the rest of the face and if it is only on one side, then that is hemifacial spasm. This is her picture post uh, Botox, but we'll look at the video now. So uh, watch this patient have throw up spasm on the left side. You can see the contractures of these muscles. So this can practically be constant or it could be intermittent. And sometimes you may not see the spasm while the patient is with you. So just ask them to squeeze the eyes and then that can initiate a particular spasm. So that's the hemifacial on one side and that's after Botox. We'll discuss the inje uh, injections and the specific spots also during live session. Next slide, please. But here is a brief uh, description of where all you would inject. So typically there would be four to five sites around the eyelid region, one or two around the brow, and rest of the face depends on what the patient wants to be treated. So it could either be the upper end of zygomaticus major muscle, this particular spot is for the levator labi muscle which lifts your lips up. So these are all the muscles which are involved in hemifacial spasm. You could inject right up to the platysmal bands based on the interest of the patient. And we will come to these spots once again in great details while we show the live injection. Here is a patient of benign essential blepharospasm, actually a Meek syndrome patient because he also has lower facial dystonia. And this video is just to show you what kind of difference Botox can make in their life after the treatment or the therapy. Next slide. So here is another patient, pre and post Botox. Next slide. This slide explains the injection sites for benign essential blepharospasm. So again, as I said, four to five sites around the eyelids. Uh, upper eyelid, there are pretarsal injections. One is above the punctum, the other is above the canthus. Lower eyelid, one is below the punctum, the other is below the canthus. Some people avoid this injection to uh, prevent uh, functional epiphora. Fifth one is a centimeter lateral to the lateral canthus. So these eyelid spots are fixed. Because this is BEB, we are giving it bilaterally. Brow, you can choose either one or two spots, but the more you keep these spots constant, you would know with time what's happening with increase or decrease in the dose. Next slide, please. So with that, I end the short uh, description of uh, Botox applications for spasm. I now invite Prerna to talk about the other in functional indications. Thank you.